Good morning, and we now come to the time of our communion, and we will be using Eucharistic Prayer E, which you can find on page 30 if you're using the red books, but I'm sure most of us know the responses. One of the poignant moments for me during the communion liturgy is when the priest breaks the bread and says, we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. And we respond, though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. It is a total declaration of our unity in Christ and a rallying call to his table. So let's just have a few moments of silence before we begin. And so let us say with confidence, the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your son Jesus Christ to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he was betrayed, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, taking the cup of wine, again he praised, them, praised you and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes again in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that great day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast with the, at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And if you're using the books, we turn back to page 12. And so we say the Lord's Prayer together. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. And so draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ broken for us.
the blood of Christ shed for us. Now we say the post-communion prayer, which is on page 16. And it's the one in the middle of the page. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to work to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and upon those you love now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.